Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox, and we're coming now to the second unit on uh, e-commerce and what I call lifestyle informatics. And we're going to go into a little more detail on what a recommender system is. And of course, as always, we're using clouds. That's where our recommender systems run. Data analytics is recommender systems. We'll be doing it collaboratively. And we're processing enormous amounts of big data, user rankings and things like that. And we're solving problems here in lifestyle informatics. And here's our nice collage. And first we start with a little bit of um, recap from the previous unit. And the problem, this is this roughly the same slide as that one was present in the previous unit. We're, but I think it summarizes what we're trying to do extremely well. We're matching items which includes people to people, or collections of items to collections of people. And the examples we have are people to products, that's online and offline commerce. People to people, that's social networking, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, and so on. We have people to jobs or employers, that's job sites, career builder, and monster. And people plus the queries that people make to the web. That's information retrieval or web search, which we'll discuss as a separate major use case later on in this course. And then recommender, recommendation systems or recommender systems help in the match of the users with the items. And they both provide um, information overload um, reduction, because otherwise uh, there's no way you can go through all the information, especially as we learned with the um, long tail. These online sites have many, 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 many more items than say a traditional shop would have, a brick and mortar shop. And in some sense, this is automated sales assistants, because they're tr telling you um, guidance, they're advising you. And in some sense, they're persuading you, because they will sometimes actually make ingenious um, um, reduction in prices to try to entice you to buy something they really think you might like. When we go to Wikipedia, it has a, a nice, under the recommender system, um, uh, you, uh, unit, uh, we have some nice examples like, um, uh, Amazon.com, uh, which is uses um, user-based collaborative filtering uh, by uh, you know looking at the other shoppers, which uh, brought the item you just got, and see what uh, what other things they they uh, purchased. Um, Pandora uh, is on a different different type of approach. It uses the property of the song or the artist. Which is as captured in the so-called music, music genome, which characterizes uh, uh, the different songs, and they try to um, build a station that plays music with the similar properties, assuming that uh, what you've listened to is a characteristic of what you like, and then the, you you feedback as to whether they made a good choice or not, and then they adapt these algorithms. And this is property-based recommender system. <coughs> And they basically try to weight the different attributes to uh, optimize the chance they'll make a good prediction. So this is say called content or property-based recommender system. Um, Last.fm does this in a different way, which is nearer the way Amazon does. And it just looks at what um, tracks and bands the users listen to, and comparing that with the listening behavior of other users. That's like the buying behavior that Amazon uses. And they will play tracks that don't appear in your library, but they're just played by other users with similar interests. That's the basic idea of these things. You either find, take an item, find other items near it, based on uh, the recommendations of, of uh, or the purchase um, habits of uh, other users, or they given you, you, they find other users that look like you in terms of things that you've done, and then see what those other users have done. And um, Netflix is similar, except it's as a larger entity than probably Last.fm and Pandora. It does in a far more sophisticated fashion, which takes account both properties, because it wants to give so-called diversity, so that it gives you a different, many different types of song, uh, movies to look at, as well as the recommender system idea. 
So in the next uh, lesson, we'll look at uh, a couple of examples of recommender systems, Google News, and uh, sort of more brick and mortar type approach of how to decide what to put on sale and when um, in the uh, in making uh, brick and mortar uh, uh, shops successful. I know that even if you have a brick and mortar shop, you actually need to use very sophisticated analytics to decide how best to stock that shop. And this, 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 the shops that haven't done that are succeeding not near, and do not succeed as well as the shops that have. Thank you very much. Let's get on with the next lesson.